welcome to this uh, month's edition of the Good News Paper Review. And it's a Christmas edition, so really pleased uh, to be here. We do wish you a happy Christmas. And uh, we've got some great stuff in here. There's some really good stories this time. Uh, Andy, tell us what's in the paper. Yeah, so as, as you said, Colin, happy Christmas to everybody watching. Um, the first story on the main on the front page, uh, we have a story of some songwriters, Helen and Mark Johnson. Now, if you could just school these days and watch a nativity play, you're likely to see aliens on stage. You're likely to see cowboys and Indians. You're likely to see pirates. Anything but perhaps shepherds and Mary and Joseph. However, uh, these two have been commissioned to write songs for 20,000 primary schools and the nativity plays. And they are Christians and they want to put Jesus right at the heart uh, of the nativity play. One of Christ back into Christmas. So it's a really interesting story. How do you write songs for children to sing for a school nativity play? Well, you can read the story on the front page of the paper and find out and find out why Christ really is the meaning of Christmas. Colin. Isn't the great news about Christmas that Jesus came in to this world as an innocent baby um, to save us. That's, that's the real story of Christmas. We can so easily miss that with all the trappings, all the, all the presents and all the partying. We can miss it. But that's the real message. And this story here that I found in the paper, it's a fair cop gov. This really brings that out. And basically it's a story about a former undercover police officer. And he's talking about his time in the police. And one case in particular of a teacher that he investigated was accused of a very serious crime. And at the end of the investigation was proven innocent. I was so overwhelmed, they cried, they couldn't believe it. And, uh, and, uh, and, and he, he uses that as a comparison, because uh, now he's a church minister, and he compares this, this, this case, this situation, to the innocent Christ taking the penalty of sin so that the guilty can go free. And you may not feel that you're guilty. I mean, most of us don't want to feel that, do we? That's not the sort of thing we want to think about. Um, but uh, if we're honest, how many of us live up to our own standards, let alone the standards of God? So the Bible says that all of us fall short. Um, but the good news at Christmas, this Christmas, is that Jesus has come into this world to take our sin, to make us innocent in God's eyes, so we can approach God and have a relationship with him. That's great news, isn't it? Over to Andy. Papers jam-packed with Christmas stories, Colin. Uh, on the back, we've got two footballers who are Christians. They talk about what it means to be uh, to celebrate Christmas. Chris, Christ is right at the heart of Christmas for these two. Uh, Thiago Silva of Chelsea talks about how difficult it is playing football at Christmas uh, because he wants to be in church and he wants to be uh, with his family. But, of course, he has to be training because they play on Boxing Day and so on. But uh, two interesting stories about two professional footballers who live for Jesus Christ, who believe in Jesus Christ, and have put their trust in him. Also in the paper, we've got your article, Colin, uh, on how to survive Christmas uh, uh, and your, and your counselling column, which is really, really good. Uh, just say a little word, if I may, about the editorial. I know I wrote it, um, but I just wanted to highlight it um, because one story that you'll hear a lot over the next few weeks is, of course, the story of Scrooge. And uh, I think that the story of Scrooge, the fictional story of Scrooge, has got a lot to say to us about the true story of Jesus coming at Christmas. So, for example, Scrooge was visited by the ghost of Christmas past. Well, Jesus came in the past to save us. The ghost of Christmas past says to Scrooge, I've come to save you, I've come to change you. That's why Jesus came. Scrooge is visited by the ghost of Christmas present. One of the names given to Jesus in the Bible is Emmanuel, which means God with us. God can be with us today if we trust in Jesus. And then Scrooge was visited by the ghost of Christmas future. And of course, if we want to have a future, we want to be sure of going to heaven. The Bible teaches us there's only one way to be sure of going to heaven. And that's by putting our trust in Jesus. And you can read all about that and more to do with Jesus and to do with the real meaning of Christmas in the paper. We'd love for you to get a copy of this. If you're not sure where you stand with God, if you're not sure what Christmas really is all about, if you're not sure who is this Jesus who came and was born in the stable, well, get a copy of this paper, find out. We'll gladly send you one. Follow the links at the end of the video and do have a very happy Christmas.